I just like to know where my food came from and be involved in it and just know that I'm eating healthy food. My name's Apple. Uh, I live at Sandhill Community. It's a group of people living together in northeastern Missouri. We have a farm and we grow a lot of our own food. There's usually uh, around 10 people living here, more during the growing season. Lots of people come to live with us and share our work in our space. And we really like eating our homegrown food. Hi, I'm Gigi and I've been here at Sandhill for 13 years. I'm standing in front of our south garden where we raise, um, well, it's one of three gardens where we raise all of our produce. And um, I'm the garden coordinator. We typically have one to five people working in the garden throughout the year. Um, we eat from the garden, so we eat uh, whatever is in season at the time and um, we grow everything organically and we work the gardens by hand. So this is our greenhouse. Uh, we started this last summer and worked on it as long as we could through the fall and then actually started using it early this spring. And um, greenhouse extends the season both in the spring and in the fall. In the spring you can come in and have a warm place to start your seedlings. And as they grow, um, they eventually go out into the other gardens. Uh, we do leave a few things in here to continue growing. Um, things like artichoke here don't grow so well in our climate, but maybe they'll do well in the greenhouse where it's more consistently warm throughout the year. Over here you can see our spinach bed. And we had lots of spinach salads in the spring before we could even get into the gardens because they were too cold and wet. Uh, following spinach will be cucumber. Um, cucumber is actually here to save the seed for this variety of cucumber that we like. This has been a really fun building project for Sandhill. Um, Gigi headed it up and did all the research about how to build it, but um, it's a natural building and we used earth bags and filled them with dirt and we're um, making walls with clay and straw and just experimenting with different types of building that aren't um, as mainstream and that have less effect on the environment. And it's just a way that the community comes together a lot and it's sort of centered around our values of caring about what we're growing and caring about how we're growing it and working together and having fun together. I'm Stan. Uh, I've been living at Sand Hill for 28 years. I take care of uh, most of the field crops. That is the uh, wheat and sorghum, mustard, um, and then these are shiitake logs that uh, we have inoculated with spores, spawn, and then this is, uh, here's a, one of the big shiitakes, there's other smaller ones around. These logs have been here three years, and um, so we've had a really, some really good flushes on these. So we have our own mushrooms. Growing food is really appreciated here. You, right. know, you always hear about how the farmers don't get much of their return of the return on their food, but here food is is really prime, and we even barter with food. You know, if we have extra potatoes, we might barter that for computer services yeah. with our neighbors, or um, if we have extra pickled okra, you know, we might offer that to someone who comes help us. Um, inoculate shiitake logs or right. something. So food is almost currency here right. as well. So in addition to the gardens and the food we grow in the garden, we uh, have some field crops out of uh, a total of 135 acres. About half of our acres are in woods and about 20 acres we have in actual field crops. And out of those we grow sorghum and mustard and soybeans and pinto beans, black beans, um, Wheat, we grow all around wheat and buckwheat and things to, uh, to grow for cover crops as well to feed the soil as well as to feed ourselves. This, is, uh, this field here is sorghum transplants that we just transplanted yesterday, the last two days. Uh, we do about six acres of sorghum in total. Our, uh, our entire farm is certified organic. We, uh, the field crops, we use tractors and equipment for it. It's very old equipment, but uh, this is the area where we do use tractors and equipment. 
My name's Anne, and I'm an intern here at Sand Hill Farm. And my partner and I decided to do an internship here at Sand Hill because of um, all of the experience that's here, um, the longevity uh, of the community, and how they grow so much of their own food and such a variety of their food. And we hope to learn a lot of skills here so that we can take them with us when we start our own homestead. Uh, here we are in Sugar Shack. Sugar Shack is where we um, process the sorghum. These pans here are for boiling down the sorghum that we bring in from the outside. That gets the cane gets pressed in, uh, juice gets pressed out of the cane, and then we boil it down to make a, a thick syrup. Uh, the pan in the back there is for cooking down maple syrup. We only do maple syrup for ourselves. We don't have enough to sell. And then in the rest, of these boxes over here are uh, our honey boxes for uh, bees. This is our the comb that the honey, the bees put the honey in. And then we have an extractor that uh, slings out the honey. So a part of our, we, we grow food for ourselves and our own sweeteners, but we also grow things to sell. So that is a way to support ourselves in the, in the community. Sorghum uh, is one, it's kind of become our signature product. We, it is our main crop that we sell, uh, and then we also sell honey and other products. But sorghum is the one that we sell in a lot of grocery stores and in whole food stores in, uh, in this state and all over the country. We actually ship it all over the country. I think that's what I like most about cooking here when I'm, is, is that all the food is right here. My favorite time to cook is just about a month from now when we have so much garden produce and I can just go out in the garden mm -hmm. and collect everything fresh and then bring it in and... Uh, either just steam it or cook it a little bit and then serve it and it's like it's so it's so real where the food is coming from i know mm. we've grown all the seedlings we've taken all the care we've done the weeding and the harvesting and then we get to eat it and we eat it together and uh it's it's just like yeah it was really sharing life mm.